It's no secret that Sasha Baron Cohen is a prankster, but despite his celebrity status, HES managed to pull stunts on big-name politicians. This week, Showtime announced that the provocative comedian secretly filmed a seven-episode satirical comedy for the network, set to premiere Sunday. Who's America will feature Baron Cohen, 46, undercover as various characters. According to the official description of Who is America, the show will explore the diverse individuals, from the infamous to the unknown across the political and cultural spectrum, who populate our unique nation. Among the politicians who were duped into his interviews are Sarah Palin, former Vice President Dick Cheney and reportedly Senator Bernie Sanders. Here's a look back at some of his biggest political pranks, warning, some of what follows is NSFW. Donald Trump for an episode of H Boss Star Ali G Show. Cohen met with Trump years before his presidency at Trump Tower, where he briefly interviewed the now president, pitching him a business idea of gloves to wear when eating ice cream. Trump abruptly left the interview and later addressed it on Twitter on October 30, 2012. I never fall for scams, Trump tweeted. I am the only person who immediately walked out of my Ali G interview. Newt Gingrich also as Ali G, Cohen interviewed the former Speaker of the House, comically taking his time learning to spell the conservative politician's name and grilling him about welfare before getting more crass and asking if the Republican Party thinks that homies should engage in anal. Pat Buchanan he tricked the conservative commentator into referring to weapons of mass destruction at WMDs as BLTS aka bacon, lettuce and tomato sandwiches. Was it worth fighting a war over BLTs? Cohen asked as Ali G. I don't think Saddam Hussein and Iraq were a threat to the United States even if they had WMDs or BLTs as long as they weren't nuclear weapons, Buchanan replied. Later, Cohen asked more bluntly, is it ever worth fighting a war over sandwiches? Is it ever worth fighting a war? Um, yes, Buchanan said, unfazed. Dick Cheney in a teaser for Who is America, Cohen interviews the former vice president and asks him to autograph a waterboard kit. That's a first, says Cheney, 77, as he adds his signature to an empty water gallon. That's the first time I've signed a waterboard. Sarah Palin Palin claimed she was unwittingly interviewed by the comedian for Who is America after he duped her into believing he was a disabled U.S. veteran. In a lengthy Facebook post on Tuesday, the former Alaska governor and Republican vice presidential candidate wrote, Yup, we were duped. Ya got me, Sasha. Feel better now I join a long list of American public personalities who have fallen victim to the evil, exploitive, sick humor of the British comedian Sasha Baron Cohen, enabled and sponsored by CBS, Showtime. Palin said that she and one of her daughters, whom she did not name, were asked to travel across the country for the interview, where she claimed Cohen had heavily disguised himself as a disabled U.S. veteran, fake wheelchair and all. She said she initially believed that the interview was a legit opportunity to honor American vets and contribute to a legit Showtime historical documentary. Out of respect for what I was led to believe would be a thoughtful discussion with someone who had served in uniform, I sat through a long interview of Hollywoodism's disrespect and sarcasm, but finally had enough and literally, physically removed my mic and walked out, much to Cohen's chagrin, Palin continued. The disrespect of our U.S. military and middle-class Americans via Cohen's foreign commentaries under the guise of interview questions was perverse. Watch, Sarah Palin claims evil Sasha Baron Cohen duped her into an interview by posing as a disabled vet Joe Walsh, the former congressman and current radio host revealed in a series of tweets on Tuesday that he was also duped by Cohen. He wrote that producers flew him to Washington, D.C., for what they claimed was an interview about Israel's then-upcoming 70th birthday celebration. He then described the strangest interview of his life. In one tweet, Walsh said he totally believed Palin's earlier account of her experience on Cohen's show. Bernie Sanders Although footage of Sanders has yet to be released Drudge Report Chief Matt Drudge took to Twitter on Monday to report that the senator is among those featured in a series of Who is America's Undercover Interviews. Sasha Baron Cohen at it again. This time for CBS, Showtime. Lots of tricks played. Both Republicans and Democrats are getting caught up in the madness. Sasha has Fink Cheney, Palin, Howard Dean, Alberto Gonzalez, Bernie, Trent Lott, Patreus, Ted Koppel, and more. Beware, tweeted Drudge. Ted Koppel, Howard Dean and others are also reportedly to be featured on Cohen's series. Former Chief Justice Roy Moore also released a statement and claimed he was duped. A rep for Sanders did not immediately respond to people's request for comment. 
Roy Moore, the ex-Alabama Senate hopeful, whose 2017 campaign tanked when he was accused of Yuli assaulting four women as young as 14, claimed he was also conned into appearing in Who is America as an Alabamian, I believe in truth and honesty, which the shadowy media groups behind this illicit scheme do not, he said in a statement. Obviously, people like Cohen who mock not only Israel but those who support Israel and the principles upon which America is based, do not share my beliefs. Who's America premieres Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Showtime.